Psyche Truth. Life. Wisdom. Hi, this is Dina Maddie, bringing you the fourth video for our bikini model butt series that brings you from the most simple poses all the way to the most advanced poses like in this video to help shape and tone that butt for the perfect bikini butt. So the first exercise for our advanced video is going to be a curtsy lunge. So we did the, we did the regular lunge in the first video. So I want you to stand hip width apart and we're gonna add a little bit of a variation. So you're gonna take that right foot and you're gonna bring it diagonally back behind you and then lunge down and come back up and meet in the middle. You're gonna take that left foot back diagonally behind you, lunge, and then come back up to the front. It's a little bit balance required for this one, but we're just gonna go for it and stick with where you are. If you would like to do just regular lunges in the meantime, you can do that too. Whatever is easiest for you. Just go slow and controlled. Make sure that this knee doesn't go past the toe, so keep it back and make sure that you're really pressing through this bottom foot to come up. Press into that back foot and helps with that balance. Just go slow and controlled. Don't fling your body through space. Actually create space and control in your movements and that will help build those nice muscles and those nice long lean muscles that you guys all want. Just give me a couple more right here. one more on each side so you can try to touch that knee as close to the ground as possible or if you can a slight touch of the knee is fine too so we're going to go ahead and do a little forward fold for our stretch and help stretch out those hamstrings so keep a soft bend in your knee and a straight back and hinge forward at the waist bend your knees just a little bit so so you can actually place your chest on your legs. Bend your knees as much as you need to, and then roll forward onto the balls of your feet. You should really feel this right in the hamstrings, kind of where your hamstrings and your glutes attach. Now slowly straighten your legs, and then roll all the way up. And we're gonna go through that curtsy lunge one more time. Now take a deep breath and then go back with the right foot. If you can, softly touch your knee, that's fine. If you have knee issues, then just don't go as far down. But the more range of motion you get, the more you're working those quads, the more you're working those abductors, and the more lengthening that you're gonna get, the stronger you're gonna get. But this is the advanced pose. You can always go back to a regular lunge, or you can decrease your range of motion to make things a little bit easier. If you're crazy and this isn't challenging enough for you, try adding a leg lift. The side little leg lift, slow and controlled, but only if that's available and only if you can do that with control and balance. <sighs> crazy. It's okay. Your glutes are going to be feeling it for days. Do one more set on each side and then back and we're going to go ahead and do that forward fold one more time so take a soft bend in your knees hinge forward at the waist and roll down now i actually want you to bend your knees all the way where your chest touches and then slowly straighten your knees keeping a soft bend in your knees and then slowly roll all the way up arms up overhead and then down to the floor for our next move. So for this next move, we're gonna do another variation of the glute bridge. We already did the regular glute bridge. We already did the one with your foot over the knee in the last video. Now we're gonna take it a step further and take that foot and just bring it up all the way perpendicular to the ground and squeeze that glute up and bring it back down. So you can do this variation or you can stick with the simpler modifications that we had in the other videos. What you want to do is flex that foot and try to reach like you're pushing through the ceiling. Like if you're strong enough, if you could really reach the ceiling, you would be pushing the ceiling away from your body. Squeeze that glute on the way up. Give me a couple more reps right here. You can always go back to the easier modifications if you want. And then give me one more on this leg and then back down. 
So now for the left leg, lift that leg all the way up where it's 90 degrees perpendicular to the floor and then squeeze your glute on the way up and bring it back down. You're going to still remember the other modifications like keeping your knee in. Remember those other cues from the very beginning. You can always switch back to the other modifications with your knee over or just a regular glute bridge if that's easier for you. But go ahead and I dare you to challenge yourself just a little bit and breathe deeply. Now give me one more of these and then we're done for the second. Now we're gonna go ahead and give you a nice little hip stretch. So take your left leg down. We're gonna do almost the same as in the last video, but you're gonna take that right leg and pull it all the way over. So that way, you really get a nice stretch in this hip. And if you can, turn your head and extend your right arm out while you rotate your right leg over to the opposite side. It should give you a nice long stretch in your hip and give a deep breath in and out. And then take your knee, take your left hand, place it on your hip to keep your hip grounded and then open your hip out to really stretch that hip in the hip socket. And then bring it back in and then down. Next leg, so take your left leg up, bring it over and across your body. And then if you can, reach your left arm out and tilt your head to the opposite side. You should really feel this along your left hip and sometimes even in your hip crease if your hips are really tight. Now come back over to the middle, take your right hand, place it on your right hip to keep that hip down on the ground and then open up that left hip with your arm. It's really good as a really nice hip opener, especially for people that drive and sit and I spend a lot of time in my car, so I'm definitely one of those people with tighter hips. Now, back to the glute bridge modification. So remember, you can always be where you're at. You can extend that leg and do the more challenging version in this video, or you can stick with one of the easier modifications I've already shown you. So, what well, do you guys want a bigger butt or do you guys want a smaller butt? Tell me, I'm always trying to gain mass because I wasn't blessed with a Kim Kardashian booty. But, you know, some people come to these videos because they want to tone them, which having better muscle will actually tone up your butt. And some people want to build muscle. What do you guys want? What's your, what's your best butt? What's your ideal butt? And back down. Now, left leg up. So these, mu these moves, if you don't have much of a butt and you want to build one, they'll actually build muscle. And the cool thing is, is that you already have a big butt and you don't want to make it any bigger. It'll actually tone the areas that make that little tush part actually perk up in the backside. So it's actually a win-win, right? Give me one more right here and breathe and back down. Now we're gonna go ahead and do that same stretch. So take your right hand, right leg in your left hand, and up and over the body. Breathe and keep that opposite leg extended. And then take your right knee with your right hand and then open up that hip, taking the left hand and pressing down on the hip to make sure you're not moving. We don't want you moving. We want, we want this hip down. And then switch legs. So left leg and right hand across the body. And then opening up the hip, making sure that hip is down on the ground. And then back down. Now our next move, we're gonna flip over. Here we go. So this next move is a variation on the plank. So once again, if you have knee sensitivities or you're like me and you don't just wanna have a wooden floor as your only support, go ahead and use a folded up towel or a small blanket or a pillow. So we want you on your hands and knees for this one. And this is going to be a variation from kind of that that glute kickback we did in the, in the intermediate video. What you're going to do is take your leg out straight, point the toe, and make an arc. So we'll call these plank rainbows. We'll take your foot and go up and over the opposite side, up and over and make it like an arc, like a rainbow. Really simple. 
So we're gonna do this on each side. And you wanna make sure that this movement is slow and controlled. Point your toe and squeeze your glute on the way up. And this is very, very important not to fling. You know, you're using your muscles, you're using your core. Do one more right here and then switch. So up and over like an arc, like a little plank rainbow. And this shouldn't be too challenging. If it is too challenging on your upper body, then you can always go down to your elbows or you can do it, but make sure that your shoulders and your wrists are in line to help support your arms. Now we're gonna do a couple more on this side and make sure to breathe and squeeze that glute Flow and control. One more, and here we go. The stretch we're gonna do is open up your knees and press back. We're actually gonna do like a frog pose, if you guys have ever done that. It's actually pointing your toes as opposed to pointing them in, point them out, and actually sit back into it like you're a frog, sitting in a pose. And this will be a really nice hip opener stretch. You guys can also, if you have knee issues, you can take this stretch the other side. So you can actually take it like that if it hurts your knees. And if you want to go deeper. It depends on how flexible you are. But this is a great one to work. If you're just sitting in front of the TV and you want to do a little stretching, this is a great one. And back to our plank rainbows. And here we go with our right foot. Make sure to breathe. Keep the glute engaged the whole time. And if you feel this, if you're actually, your butt is getting a workout, then do me a favor and throw me a like, give me a thumbs up, a little comment here or there. Maybe you and your girlfriends and boyfriends or whatever can have a nice butt night and everybody just does my butt workout videos together. How fun would that be? And then one more on each side. And then back to the center on the other leg. Ooh, don't we love it? If you love it, let me know. And tell me, this would actually, if you're trying to make a smaller butt, this is working that glute minor underneath the tush of that butt will help push it up so you can get that nice little look that some of those fancy pants that you pay $70 for at the store give you the same look. You can actually create that naturally with this move. How cool would that be? And then one more on each side. And breathe. Now back to frog pose. You can take your feet out to the length of the mat and just kind of push back on your elbows. So that way you're getting nice and deep into that pose. Looks kind of funny. Looks like a frog, basically. That's why they call it frog pose. This is a really nice hip opener. If it hurts your feet to be on this, you can actually just have another towel or another pillow or, or another mat or switch length of your mat. Whatever works for you, as long as you're feeling the stretch. And to make sure to breathe and we are getting into our last exercise here for the advanced bikini model butt workout. Hey guys, so the next exercise in our video for our bikini model butt series is gonna be inclusive of more than one muscle group. It's going to be called a floor jack. So it's basically like a jumping jack, only you're lying on the floor, on your stomach. So the movements are gonna be really simple, basically like a jumping jack and you can modify it. So you can take away the arms if the arms are making you too tired. You can put your foot down in between each rep if you feel like it. Whatever works best for you, but we're just gonna go ahead and get right on it. So let's give me, just give me 10 of them. I know you can do that. And make sure to breathe at the same time that you're doing all these exercises. Can you give me five, four, three, two, and one. 
and rest. Make sure to take a deep breath if it's too challenging for you. Like I said, you can keep the arms out of it and just move the bottom legs. If that's too easy for you, then while I'm talking and resting, then you should keep doing them. That's simple enough, right? So we're gonna go ahead, do a little bit of a stretch. We're gonna do a wheel stretch. So reach behind and take those arms. If this is too challenging, then you can also raise up and just grab one leg at a time and, and stretch as much of your quad as you can. Try to keep the knees close together. And this will be a nice little quad stretch. And then you can take your right hand in front and reach behind for your back. Reach as, as far as you can. If, you, if that's all you can grab, that's fine. If you can, give your quad a nice little stretch as deep as you can go comfortably and try to keep your knees closer together. Okay, back to some more floor jacks. I know you can do them, so let's just go for it, right? So, how many of you guys remember jumping jacks in school? Yeah, those were never very fun. So these are good because it's a little bit of cardio, it's core, it's lower back, and it's glutes and arms and shoulders. So that's really good for people that are trying to hit more than one muscle group at a time. Give me just five more. I know, I know, it's fun. Three, two, and one. There we go, and we're gonna do the same quad stretch. So, putting your left arm in front, reaching around, and grab your back foot, try to keep the knees close together and in line, and then just stretch out that back quad as much as possible. If that's as far as you can go, that's fine. Or if you can take, take it a little deeper, do that too. And then put the right arm in front, go ahead and reach around and grab the back. Then we will just stretch that quad out as much as feels comfortable. This should feel good. There should be no pain involved in this one. And take a deep breath. And then release, exhale. And come back on all fours. And you guys are done. Thank you so much for joining me, Dina Maddie, with Today I Will Be Fit. And make sure to check out all my other videos when you subscribe to Psyche Truth. And also make sure to share my video and give me a comment. Let me know what you like, what you didn't like. And I'll see you next time.